a little longer than a few minutes later. Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're out here with a pile of wood that a tree company just dropped off down the hill. And we've got a couple electric chainsaws here that we want to test out. These new uh, electric chainsaws are nothing to, uh, to laugh at. They are a pretty powerful, long lasting little machine. So I have two chainsaws I will show you. We're gonna be doing a head to head comparison. We're gonna do some cuts, we're gonna do some tests, see which one cuts faster, see which one lasts longer, uh, and see which one has more torque and power. And at the end, I will make a recommendation uh, of which one I think is best if you are gonna buy one of these things. We will put these things through the test and see which one comes out on top. All right, first up we have the Wild Badger Power. Uh, this one came fully assembled. All I need to do is charge the battery a little bit and put it in here, and this thing is ready to go. It takes a little bit of regular chainsaw bar oil. It's all topped off, and these are both 16-inch bars. Has a 40-volt battery. This is a 4-amp-hour battery. Battery mounts very center on the... This is where the most of the weight is. Brake on the top, chain brake. Next up the green works so this will be our comparison model same size battery we have a 40 volt 4 amp hour battery fully charged uh, we topped it off with bar oil this one has a 16 inch bar as well both the same one difference between the two saws this one does have a toolless chain tensioner so the chains uh, uh it's pretty good right now but you just turn this to the right, tightens it up, turns to the left, loosens it. Whereas our Wild Badger requires a small uh, bar tool, just like a regular chainsaw. And the tensioner is a screw here in the middle. So we've got a pile. This is all pine, so we're not, we're not using any hardwoods. We'll just run it with what I got here. This tree company came and dumped this off for me. One rolled in the water, so we got to get that out later. We'll do that at the end. So my plan is I'll pull out a, a log of, of a similar size and I'll alternate saws. So I'll run one cut with one saw, one cut with the other saw, one cut with one saw so that we get as, as equal as possible um, based on the diameter, you know, the varying diameters of the, of the logs and things like that. And we'll run these things and I'm gonna just keep running this until the batteries are dead. And then just for fun at the end, if there's anything left of this pile, which I think there will be, we'll fire up a, a gas saw and just see how it compares. First cut with the wild badger. That one is, uh, this is probably a 24 inch log.
done. I think it says the battery's dead. Let's try it again. I think that's the I'm dead cry. The green works dies first. Okay, this one doesn't beep at you. Hey, B, no, go away. I think it's dead. We have two dead electric saws and we got through a pretty decent amount of wood, I would say. I mean, we're cutting through 20, 24 inch pieces of wood. A lot of it I had to go through from both sides. So I ran them pretty hard, some of it smaller, but most of it was, was pretty good size. And we got, uh, we got quite a bit cut, honestly. The Greenworks died first. It was about two cuts uh, short of, uh, of keeping up with the Wild Badger. So the Wild Badger is a little better. There's a difference in the torque between the two, which makes, a, makes quite a difference in cutting. The Greenworks has a little bit more torque, so you can force it a little bit more into the wood and, uh, and, and get a little bit better bite. However, that kind of tricks you because it ended up getting stuck a lot of times. See, what this has is some kind of a, if it, if it runs into too much resistance too quickly, it, it shuts off. And it's almost, I don't know if that's a safety feature or if that's just, you know, trying not to burn up the motor. The Wild Badger, it feels like to me, I'd have to look at the statistics on this, but it looks like, it feels like this one runs at a little higher RPM. And that actually is a little more comfortable because you, you don't feel like you need to force it. You just kind of let it, let it sit in there and let it run through the wood on its own. Uh, it runs a little higher speed and so it just feels like it's cutting through butter. Let's bust this out, get the rest of this cut up first. Take a load up to the house, get out of the wind here, and I'll tell you which one wins. Well, we ran those two electric saws, the Greenworks versus the Wild Badger Power. We ran them until they were dead, so which one wins? Honestly, it was very close. The Greenworks saw is a, is a good saw. It seems like it, it works really well, although this is a, a little easier, the chain tensioner here. I have a feeling this kind of stuff breaks. <laughs> I don't like the plastic, so. This one is, is, is a quite a bit heavier also. The same exact battery power um, that, you know, this one has a little more torque. This saw is so much easier to use. It's a little longer, the body is. Um, the power was almost identical, although I do think that this one runs a little faster, which actually makes a, a much smoother cut. Once it winds up to, to full power, 
you just kind of let it cut through and it, and it just is it's smooth it cuts right through just like butter um, the brake the chain brake on this is a little bit it, it just I don't know it just feels better <laughs> it feels like it's built better and the wild badger actually comes with a regular chain tool uh, bar tool and this is actually the same size as my my Husqvarna Rancher and it has a regular tensioner on it which I like so I have a feeling that this one is gonna last a little bit longer and uh, power wise it's it's just great these electric saws are perfect for uh, limbing trees especially cutting down a lot of smaller stuff I really put it through the ringer on some of those pine uh, chunks they were sappy you know the, the saws get stuck a lot in them and and it's pretty wide so you know a 24 inch plus log we were cutting through with these saws and it, and it cut through them really well but these things really shine uh, with I would say you know 12 inch uh, 16 inch or smaller uh, trees and branches and you could probably cut almost a full face cord of wood if not a full face cord of wood if you're cutting smaller stuff with one charge with one saw what i was able to cut with both of these saws was about equivalent to one full tank of gas in, an in my gas saw so i was impressed at how long they last and it had full power all the way to the end they didn't like start to die uh, either one of the saws they, they had full power right to the end and then they just stop and then they're done <laughs> and you can't use it anymore obviously they come with one battery and one charger uh they do take a, i think it's a two hour charge i believe to, to fully charge a battery from empty uh, on each of them they're pretty similar as far as their charging goes but if you had a couple batteries with this you could swap them out and you could almost run continuously with these if you uh if you bought maybe two extra batteries so let me know what you guys think hit thumbs up on today's video a uh, links in the description to all of this stuff the wild badger power stuff uh, of course, you can check out everything on their site, and uh, we'll see if we can get any discount codes from them. We'll put those down below as well. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Love to have you tag along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.